Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Today I'm gonna to show you how to remove and reinstall this clock spring, multi-function switch, headlight switch, wiper switch on this 2007 Mini Cooper S. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1aauto.com. To access the battery, there's a little cover right here. There's a lock right here. This one looks like it's broken. This cover should fold up. It doesn't, so I'm just gonna set that aside. I'm gonna take a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. I'm gonna loosen up the negative terminal right here. You always wanna loosen up the negative terminal. Take that off, set it aside. So we're gonna take the airbag off. We need to find this little hole underneath the steering wheel. The only reason I turned it was so that you could see it on the video, but I can normally have it straight up and down. And we're gonna take a blunt object. Um, you can use a three millimeter Allen, seems to work the best. You wanna slide it into that hole. And I'm gonna just put my hand in front of the airbag so it doesn't go flying. I'm just gonna push, there's like a spring in there, and the airbag will just slide out. Now we're gonna disconnect the airbag right here at this connector, and then we'll disconnect this connector for the horn. Just take a right angle pick. Just gonna slide in here, this little lock. Pull that lock down, pull that connector out. And try to hold this while we disconnect this right here. Slide up on that. Now we're gonna place the airbag in a safe location, facing upwards. All right, uh, before we pull the wheel off, we need to disconnect the wire right here, the connector. I'm just gonna use a 90 degree pick. I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure right here, and then I'm gonna use a straight blade screwdriver to release the lock. So I'll take the pick right here. I'm just gonna, that's just gonna put a little pressure pushing upwards. And then the straight blade screwdriver. Straight blade screwdriver right in between here to release the lock. Just twist it a little bit. And then I should be able to grab the connector. And pull it up. Just like that. Now I'm gonna remove this steering wheel bolt. I'm gonna use a 16 millimeter socket, a little extension, and a ratchet. I'm gonna hold the steering wheel while I loosen this up. Now there's not a lot of tension on this, so just check to make sure your steering wheel is loose. We're gonna make sure the steering wheel is straight before we actually take it off. That looks pretty good. Pull that bolt off. There is a mark on the shaft of the steering column and the steering wheel itself, so we don't have to mark it. Just remember that that's there. And we can slide the steering wheel right off. So one thing that's important, we don't want this clock spring to spin. We wanna make sure we put it on, the steering wheel on the same way as when it came off. So I'm gonna use a little bit of tape and tape this just to the center shaft right here. And I'll just, just as long, it doesn't have to be wicked tight or anything, just as long as it keeps it from spinning, that would be good. Just do that. That should be good. We're gonna remove this panel underneath here. So there is some screws that fasten this on. Um, I'm gonna use a T20 Torx and a ratchet. Loosen these screws up. There's one, two, three. Three screws. That's 
we get those out, you should be able to grab this panel, just pull it straight out. There's some clips that hold it on, one here, one here. So there's a bolt that's held in right here. It's a Torx bolt, it's a T30. Um, there's one here and there's also one on the other side. What you're gonna have to do is make sure your steering column is telescoped all the way out and then all the way forward and lock it in place. I'll just use my T30 socket extension and a ratchet. Once it's started, I can just do it by hand. And we'll do the same with the other one. Next, I have to move the tachometer out of our way. So we're gonna take that off. We'll use a T30. There's two Torx bolts on both sides up here. T30, I'll use an extension and a ratchet. Take that one out, loosen it up, then I'll loosen this one up as well. It's a loose. Wiggle this up. I'm just going to use a magnet to take these two screws out. And I can just take the tack and slide it forward. Move that out of our way. Now we're gonna take this top cover off. I'm just gonna use a trim tool to help. I'm just gonna pry out a little bit on the bottom and there's a clip right here. Release that. There's one in the back here. All right, I'm gonna pry out on this side. Release that. Give me a little more room. like that, pull up on it, be careful not to break it, just like that, there's clips here, 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 and here. There's two Torx fasteners that I need to remove, I'm going to use a T20 and a ratchet, remove these two, there's another one. On this side, just move the tachometer out of our way. Right, once we pull that out, we can grab the lower part of the steering column cover, just slide it out. You may have to release the adjuster for the telescoping function. Pull this, and there's also a wire harness connector right here. Just take a just take a flat blade screwdriver. Try to get this retainer off and this will slide right out. Alright, I'm gonna be careful with this clock spring. I'm just gonna take this tape off. I'm gonna put some new tape because I'm gonna be able to get it from the outside here. Just tape it there because this whole piece is gonna come off. That'll keep that from spinning. On the back side of this clock spring, um, we're going to take a 90 degree pick. There's some connectors. Just slide this down on the lock, disconnect that connector. And then this is the type of connector that has this handle. So you push down on this lock here, and there's a little handle here going to slide out and as that slides out the connector comes out. Disconnect that. Now we're going to loosen up this clamp right here. I'm going to use a T30 Torx and an extension and a ratchet. It should be loose enough. 
Right, now I'm going to take a 90 degree pick. There is a clip right here underneath. I'll show it to you better once it's out. I'm just going to raise it up. There's one on both sides. I'm going to try to lift it up, pull a little pressure, and then try to get the other side. And then slide it right off. These right here are the two clips. It's clipped in right there and also right there. All right, we're gonna take this clock spring multifunction switch, wiper switch, just slide this back on here. Make sure this clamp is on there correctly. Lined up. It's locked in place. Take this T30, slide it into that clamp, and I'll snug this up. I'll just do it by hand until it gets too tight. Then I'll use my ratchet. And I'll take the ratchet and just snug it up a little bit. All right, that seems good. Now we're gonna reconnect these connectors. Remember this handle needs to be in this position for this. So I'm gonna slide this up here. It's gonna connect into the top part. And then we'll push it in. We're gonna move that handle. It's gonna lock in place, just like that. And we'll take the other connector. That's gonna connect into the bottom. Just push it in place. We're gonna install this lower column cover. I'm just gonna peel back our tape a little bit from this. It'll make it easier when we go to, go to um, pull it off. Still don't want that to spin. All right. You may have to pull the adjuster down so that you can line this up properly. Once you get it in there, then we can adjust this back down, lock it back in place. I'm gonna install these longer column screws. One goes right here. Get that one started. And then also one on this side. It goes right there. So now I'm gonna use a T20 Torx bit and a extension and a ratchet. And we'll just snug these up. Remember it is in plastic, so you don't wanna to go too tight. I'm gonna push up on the cover a little bit. Make it easier to tighten these down. Snug that up, that's good. We're gonna put these bolts in down below here, one on each side. They're the torque screws that go down below. And I'm gonna take my T30 socket, extension and a ratchet. I'm just gonna snug these up. I'm gonna put this upper cover on. Slide this in right here. These clips are gonna line up. They're in there and just lock them in place. Just like that. 
Next we'll take these two Torx screws. I'm just gonna start them in this tachometer first. Try to line this up. Take my T30 and an extension. This, this is a little bit tricky to get on here. It, there's this, this thing in the back has to slide into these two little grooves. So you kind of got to push it down. Put the column down all the way. Okay, that looks right. And it's in there correctly. It takes a little bit of effort, but it's not too hard. And I'll just snug these up. Snug the other one up. It's good. I'm going to reinstall this lower panel. Uh, remember these little tabs right here. I'm going to click in, line that up, put a little pressure, whoops, it should lock in place. I'll take these screws underneath, one goes right here. That one started. We have two more, one here and one here. Then we'll take our T20 socket and we'll tighten this up. We'll tighten these ones up as well. Snug those up. Now we'll take the steering wheel um, we can remove this tape, just be careful. Make sure that clock spring doesn't spin. You don't want to ruin it. And line this up. Line that mark up with the mark on the shaft. You may have to move this a little bit. There we go, it's lined up. I can connect this electrical connector right here like that. Take the bolt. Take a 16 millimeter socket and extension. And we're going to take a torque wrench and we're going to torque this to 46 foot pounds. You're going to make sure you hold the steering wheel while you do this. like that. We're going to take the airbag. We'll connect these connectors right here. And then this connector is going to go here. Push that in like that. And make sure the wires are out of the way. Line the airbag up and just push it down. Now we're going to reconnect the battery, take the negative battery cable, slide it over on the battery, take the 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, just snug this up. And then just shake the terminal, make sure it's tight. And if your door is still attached, you just slide it down. Lock it in place. Thanks for watching. 
Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.